Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel, A Fairy Tale Flavor. I'm Selena and today I'm showing you all how to make some pretzel bites. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm showing you guys how to make some pretzel bites. They're so easy to make and so good. I'm also showing you guys how to make some cheese sauce to go perfect with these. So head on over and let's get started. In the bowl of a stand mixer, add in one cup of plain Greek yogurt and give it a quick stir, being how the yogurt can be a little watery. If you're new to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button. I post two new recipes every week. Then add in one cup of self-rising flour and you're gonna mix on low speed using the dough hook attachment. You're gonna mix until combined. Now if you don't have self-rising flour, you can just whisk together one cup of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and one four teaspoon of salt. But remember, the results may vary. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can just stir the flour and yogurt until combined. Then knead at medium speed for about three minutes or until a ball forms. If the dough is too sticky, just add in more self-rising flour, a little at a time. Now turn the dough onto a floured surface and sprinkle the top with some flour. And you're going to knead the dough for a few minutes and then form the dough into a ball. Then you're going to cut the dough into four wedges. And you're going to roll each piece of dough into a rope. Then cut each rope into segments. I usually like to use one piece to help guide me for the others to get about the same size for each one. Place them on a baking sheet that's been prepared with parchment paper. You're going to bake in a preheated 350 degree oven for 7 to 10 minutes or until they are golden brown. Usually while the pretzel bites are baking, I like to start on the cheese sauce. In a saucepan on medium high heat, add in 2 tablespoons of butter and let melt. Then add in 2 tablespoons of flour and whisk that in and let cook for a few minutes. Then you're going to pour in one cup of milk and whisk in and bring to a simmer. Then add in two cups of cheddar cheese and continue to cook until the cheese is fully melted. Season with salt and pepper to your taste. Once the pretzel bites are done, let cool for about five minutes. Now you're gonna brush the pretzel bites with some melted butter.
You can either sprinkle with pretzel salt, or like me, I couldn't find any at my local grocery store, so I'm using kosher salt. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Please give these pretzel bites a big thumbs up. These are so good and look how cute they are. <laughs> you guys can find the full recipe on my blog page at A Fairy Tale Flavor. I'll leave the link in the description below and I'll see you guys for next video. Thanks for watching, bye. <laughs> if you guys would like to see some more recipes, I'll have one right here and one right below. And please click below to subscribe and thanks again for watching, bye. <laughs> here honey, you wanna bite? Yeah. Okay, careful, it's really hot. <laughs> Is it too hot? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know you're gonna pull it.